Hi, right, this is Howard doing another vlog. And this one's kind of a life update, if you can call it. Wow, gusty winds, man! I'm hanging out, of <laughs> hanging, hanging at an angle. <laughs> All right, so a little life update, if you please. Like last month, um, was kind of not hectic, but kind of an adventure. As a, oh shit, this is my exit. Um, I quit my job in the last month twice <laughs> it's kind of a it's kind of a weird thing that happened um, I got this job offer at a different company doing the same work for the same brand it's just a different company same brand and uh, it was gonna pay me more and it was gonna be really close to my my hometown. So I thought, yeah, that'd be interesting, sure. So I quit my job and uh, started working for the new company. But um, as I started working, I realized that it wasn't really exactly the same. It wasn't really what I had hoped it would be. Uh, yes, it was, cl it was close to my hometown. But um, the privileges I had at my previous job weren't there anymore. And I got paid a little more, but I also had some weird hours. I mean, I was, uh, one of the privileges of my, my previous job was that um, on Friday, we stopped working at 3 o'clock in the afternoon which is a dream hour to stop working I mean you still can enjoy a little terrace uh, go out to the pub and have a little drink with the colleagues or something do some uh, either some cleaning before the weekend or it's just like two hours earlier off of work and there's just so much shit you can do in those two hours you know, you can go for a nice drive on the bike, you can you can clean the house, get some stuff done, just get stuff done. And now on the on the job that I took, the second job, I didn't have that anymore. Uh, I quit working at 5.15 in the afternoon. And that was really annoying because you get off work and it's you gotta rush home to get some dinner because it's evening before you know it you can't do shit anymore on Friday you gotta do move all that shit to to Saturday or Sunday and then your your weekends pass by so much so much faster and it's just ridiculous it's just ridiculous so that was one of the privileges I lost uh, second thing is like working on your on your bike or car during lunchtime a previous job no not a problem just roll it in and start working on it um, new job nah -uh, you better do that shit at home this ain't this ain't a garage do that shit at home so I was like okay okay and and when whenever you need to like buy stuff off of the company previous job hey here's a nice discount and forget about the taxes that's on us new job you feel the f you pay the full lot same as a customer would I mean it's all those little things that got me wondering in the first like two weeks my first two weeks were like a, a, a like a trial like a trial to get 14 days whether and after that they tell you like okay we're gonna hire you for like um, we're gonna give you a, a full contract or they say buy these now they said to me that um, with the experience I had they said like a full contract is not gonna be a problem as long as you don't be a jackass so I was pretty con pretty sure that I was gonna get a full contract and I did get a full contract but I had to turn it down because I was missing all of those privileges and the nice hours and 
Well, yeah, I got paid a little more, but it wasn't really worth all that shit. Oh, and another thing, I use a bunch of specialty tools for my job. Like tools and, and yeah, just stuff that most jobs don't need. And on the new job, that was all brand spanking new. Which was so nice to play with, you know? It was also by one of the leading brands of tools. So, uh, yeah, that was really nice to work with. It's like getting, getting a Ferrari to drive around and it's really nice. And I loved it. But, and this actually made me come up with a saying. You can have the best toys in the world. Best toys in the world but they're not fun if you can't play with your friends, you know? And that was kind of what I was getting to. The fact that I, on my new job, I was the only guy working in that department, so I had to run the entire department, do all the work. Whereas on my previous job, there was a lot more work, but we were with uh, four guys to do all that work. So basically, it was a lot more relaxed, there was less responsibility, less time pressure. And I missed all that, so... On the last day of my trial... My two weeks of trial... Or tryout, or whatever you want to call it... Uh, I went up to the big boss's office and I said like, Dude, I can't do this, I can't hack this. This ain't me. Um, this trial... Uh, it's coming to an end, so I want to make use of that and end the contract today. I did that, and then I made a call to my old boss because I was I was texting almost like every day with one of my former colleagues, and um, he was telling me like, yeah, they they would really like to have you back, and they didn't ha uh, they didn't hired anyone else yet. They've been talking to a couple of guys, but no one really had the experience and the know-how. And they were gonna need to train the guys for a, for like a month or, or two months before they can actually start doing what I was doing on a daily basis. So it would cost them a lot of money to train some guys, so they were still looking for someone with experience. This morning, um, I went to my old work. Had a, had a sit down and talk with my old boss, and um, cool thing is, <laughs> I'm uh, I'm hired again. So <laughs> next Monday, I'm starting anew on my previous job. I have actually no clue where the fuck I am. <laughs> Oh yeah, I know where I am right now. <laughs> that was nice. Oh, I love riding on the bridges, man. Woo!